over 98 million mobile subscribers in Nigeria. The next revolution stakeholders say is broadband internet access. Broadband internet means different things to different people and indeed to many organizations and nations of the world. To some, it is just another flash in pan of human development era code name information technology evolution. Whereas to others, nations, it is a life and death affair bordering on national survivability and the protection of generations yet abound. According to Olushola Tani of Phase 3 Telecoms, broadband internet access is the next revolution that is capable of helping Nigeria dream of becoming one of the loud voices in the world through job creation, entrepreneurship and local content creation. We have been extensively involved in spreading out infrastructure that is the bed ground and the platform for broadband availability in Nigeria. Currently in Nigeria, we've, we've served the major cities. And we're not the only ones who've served that, but in terms of our rollout and our ambition and our roadmap is to serve the major cities, which we've done over the past four years. The next challenge, however, is to try and extend that network into the rural communities, both at the urban and the semi-rural areas. In terms of broadband, as you know, I think most uh, people in the cities that have covered have mobile broadband on their mobile phones. So you tend to find that some of the push is really done in terms of mobile broadband. What we focus on is on the fixed line. And unfortunately, that's still very at a very low penetration rate. So I would say the state of Nigeria in terms of broadband is a bit mixed, but there's great hope that... Within the ICT profession, broadband is simply understood as high data rate connection to the internet. The core issues about the data transfer rate through a medium are usually called pipe but tranches. By comparison, bit-centric narrowband is usually identified by dial-up access using a 56k modem. Dial-up modem which I limited to a bit rate of less than 56 kbps, that is kilobit per second, and require the Dedicated use of a telephone line and it is more than double the data rate transfer. To this end, Phase 3 is providing next generation telecommunications networks for ISPs in Nigeria. Next level for Phase 3 is essentially to build on, on our network, to expand it. We currently have some programs and initiatives that will enable us to extend our network by another 4,000 kilometers of fiber which will extend to various local communities in Nigeria. So we're working very closely with the Nigerian government, which we have done over the last two years, and we're looking to actually build on that. And also, I think the initiative is to partner more with other partners, because we know that there's various activities, various fibers that are out there, but they haven't been interconnected. So we don't see that visibility. So the next step for us is to expand on our network and also to increase the partnership. Although various minimum bandwidth have been used in definition of broadband, ranging up from a 64 modem, dial-up modems which are limited to a bit rate of less than 56 kpbs up to 4.0 MPB it is, that is megabits per second, up to 4.0 megabits per second. The 2006 OCED report typically defines broadband as having download data and transfer rate equal to as faster than 256 kpbs, while the United States of America Federal Communications Commission FCC as of 2010 defines basic broadband as data transmission speed of at least 4 megabits per second. The trend is to raise the threshold of the broadband definition as the marketplace rule as fast as services. Yes, we have cables that are located in Lagos. The challenge for them is not even to connect outside Lagos. Just think of VI, for instance. VI doesn't seem to be a problem. Or if it is a problem, last mile, they've been addressed. But if you went to a place like Ikorudu, Ikeja, and even Shagamu and other areas, you tend to find that there's a dearth of broadband availability. So what actually is covering that is mobile broadband. Now, when you go outside Lagos, you're absolutely right. The next places you would see where there's an availability of broadband maybe in Potokot and definitely Abuja. It's just like the airway lines. You know, you tend to find everyone goes to Abuja and Potokot, same thing. So economically, you tend to find that there's a demand issue. Are there demand for those type of 
bandwidth that's been required at the broadband level outside Lagos, Abuja, and Portugal? The answer is it's mixed. It's yes or no. Now, what comes first? Is it the content or is it the infrastructure? Data rates are defined in terms of maximum download because several common consumer broadband are symmetric supporting much slower maximum upload data rate than download. The other side of broadband, therefore, is indeed about the survivability of the Nigerian nation.